So we are going to see how to take a snapshot of Azure Virtual Machine. If you are accessing Virtual Machines services, then you will be able to see on this dashboard. Otherwise, you can click on this icon here and then go to Virtual Machines. But you can also search Virtual Machines in this search box. Once you open the Virtual Machines page, you can see all the virtual machines. Currently, I have only one virtual machine. So uh, I'm going to click on that virtual machine. If you are having multiple virtual machines, you can just search for virtual machine name VM1. So click on the virtual machine and to take a snapshot of the virtual machine, we have to take a snapshot of a OS desk. So currently OS disk, I'm not able to see OS disk in this menu. So I'm going to expand settings and then you will see disk over here and then you will see os disk and data disk you can also search disks from this search box and then click on disks then click on os disk and once you click on os disk you have to click on create snapshot i will give the snapshot name as virtual machine name hyphen snapshot and then the date on which I'm going to create the snapshot. I'm going to select full snapshot because I want to take a full snapshot of the disk. If you have already created a snapshot of this disk earlier, you can select the incremental snapshot. So that the changes made from the full snapshot to this date will be copied to this snapshot. The storage type, you can select the HDD click on next, click on uh, networking, and then you can select disable public and private access, click on next. Here you can give the tags, click on next, and the validation is passed, and then I'm going to click on create. So creation of the snapshot is in progress. You will see notification over here, submitting deployment, and once the snapshot is created, you will see snapshot notification over here in this notification list. I'm going to close this and now the deployment is complete. Go to resource and you can see the snapshot is created. To check the snapshot, you can just go to snapshots, click on snapshots and here is the snapshot which is created just now. So with the help of this snapshot, we can also create a VM. I have already given the link on the right side of this video. You can just check out how can we create a virtual machine with the help of snapshot. There is one more option, create VM image version. And I have given the link for this video on the left side. You can check out that video. So I hope this video was helpful. And if you like this video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe and press the bell icon to enable notifications for future videos. Thanks and